black men, I feel like black men are under attack. That's a fact. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. From social media to so many things where you just see so many negative connotations when it comes to black men. Yeah. And then police brutality and all these different things that affect black men. So True. How the media changes the way we look at ourselves and other people around us. How the media changes the thing. Why are we here today? Image is power. And today I want to bring it home. As one of the few actual image consultants on YouTube as a black man and the destruction of the black male image. But wait, there's more. But I want you to think about something. One of the first things that happens, just like in this whole birth of a nation thing, is they mischaracterize you in the media and they use little bits of truth mixed in with gross exaggerations. And in order to make it stick, you got to go along with it. This is... What's one of the ways? Now, you can sit back and say, look at what them white people did. We don't need white people in this conversation right now because we do a good job of this ourselves. You got a black man that comes to you every day, Monday through Friday, in a suit. And look at what they tried to do to me. You don't understand. I ain't scared of you, motherfucker. Oh. Uh oh. But then, am I alone? No. This is the history. This is one thing you have learned well. You have learned how to destroy a black man's image for your own negative reasons. One, jealousy. Two, scared. Three, envy. Four, you wish you had the position. Whatever the reason is, we're the only group of folks to do it to this level for what? We don't need D.W. Griffith. When you got people that look like you, that will do. First thing they do is try to either tell you you're, you're either crazy, violent, Aggressive, Gus. Uh oh, he was crazy, sex crazed, and crazy gonna snatch that woman. Well, that's how they did it for the longest, you know, cops and America's most wanted, and this and that, and pimps and hoes, and so forth. But then, then they isolate that person, telling them you better beware of the boogeyman. Uh, but then what happens on the other side? Then if you actually have the nerve to carry yourself in a different way. You carry yourself in a way that's not, you know, street or country or whatever. The, however you want to frame it. Then you got to be gay. A few moments later. I've seen guys speak to women with this much respect. And I deplore that. My mother is just told, I grew up, my mother raised me. So, I have this much respect for women, and I, and we, I fight often because of that. And it gives me a lot of friends. I mean, I, I get a lot of friends, because, but I also, I, I get a lot of friends because I have respect for women, ultra respect for women. That's a fact. But then, like, I, I, was, I was liking this girl in, in Tam, and, um, and I'm extra nice, you know, extra gentleman. I'm extra just like, oh, you're beautiful, and you deserve the best. And she told me I was too nice. Wait a minute. Wait, wait a minute. Hold, wait, first of all, you're not going to speed past that like you didn't just say what you just said. I couldn't believe it. We, we, it wouldn't work because I was too nice. That was the ultimate stab in the back. So I went through a week of just going, forget it, I'm just going to be like them. Because they seem to get the girls and they're, they're, they call girls the B word, you know, and they smack and beat and they are get, they're getting girls and I'm going, peace and... I think you're beautiful, and I'm. And they're going to be, well. I like him because he's masculine. I'm masculine. I mean, and with the guys, I'm trying. And like yesterday, he was cursing, and I was like, "Don't curse!" And he got mad at me because I told him not to curse. But what I'm, my plan is that if I keep telling girls not to let them call you these names, and I keep telling, if I keep saying it, it's going to catch on because the girls won't allow them to be their boyfriend if they're going to speak to them like that, and they're going to want me. So in order to not 
get them to go with me, they're going to have to change, and that's how they change. So I'll be the scapegoat, no problem, as long as it changes. So, yeah, you know, uh, so it, I think it's going to work. I think it'll work out and everything. The most feared men in Hollywood. I'm, they, they don't like me in Hollywood. I'm why, why do they not like you? I don't wear dresses. I'm going to do that gay stuff. I'm going to tell you, you get some other black person to do that stuff. I'm talking, that's not, that's got it. But they all confess they love the Lord. But you cannot compromise yourself if you love the Lord. So I play tough guys, but young kids want to be soldiers. Young kids don't want to follow a guy to wear a dress. You know what I'm talking about. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Love a bitch who you know how to do her own makeup. I'm not saying you do your makeup all the time by yourself, but bitch, know how to do a little eyebrow and a little lash. At the least, it's something to be. Because now, everybody going out, you asking somebody, can they put your fucking lashes on, bitch? YouTube is free. Get you a palette. Why the fuck do you always got to book Beats by Brie? Learn how to do, do a little huh, 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 huh on your own. What the fuck? I said, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. Goodbye. Make sure you hit that like, subscribe button on the way out. I'll see you on the next one.